Atlanta Archbishop Wilton Gregory played a crucial role in helping the Catholic Church move forward after the clergy sex abuse scandal. Now, the Pope is appointing him to lead a Washington, D.C. archdiocese, and it continues to deal with fallout from the scandal. 11 Alive's Caitlin Ross in the newsroom with a look at Archbishop Gregory's impact here in Atlanta and what his new role will look like. 71-year-old Wilton Gregory is making history as the first African-American and moderate chosen to lead the Archdiocese of D.C. This is a groundbreaking decision by the Vatican. D.C. Archbishops are usually named Cardinals. If that were to happen to Gregory, he would be the first African-American to earn that title. Former D.C. Cardinal Donald World resigned last year after he was implicated in covering up abuse in Pennsylvania. The Pope defrocked his predecessor, Theodore McCrarick, after an investigation found he abused minors. Today, Gregory was in D.C. talking about the history of abuse in the church. So much of what we are facing now was a misuse of power, an abuse of power, clerical power, power that uh, was intended uh, in, in too many cases to dominate and destroy uh, lives. Gregory headed to the U.S. Bishops Conference when it adopted a zero tolerance abuse policy in 2002. He has run the Atlanta Archdiocese for 14 years and is seen as a leader in line with the Pope's progressive vision for the church. Gregory will be installed May 21st, according to the Archdiocese of Washington.